Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to compile Simon Tatum's portable puzzle collection. It's 39 one player open source puzzle games. Now these games run on just about every major modern operating system. And for the purpose of this how to, I'm going to show you how to compile the games on a fresh installation of Ubuntu 17.10. Yes, the latest version of Ubuntu. So Simon kindly provides a link to his Git repository. And if we scroll down on his home page, we can find the code that we need to enter at a terminal just to create the copy over the development sources to our local system. So I've just copy and pasted that into my terminal and we are now cloning the repository so that it's on my local system. So we just need to wait a little while while this downloads to my system and it's downloaded and if I go into the directory that's being created it's the repository goes into a puzzles folder of directory and what we need to do is we need to make uh, well Simon provides a cross-platform make file generator and that's known that's called mkfiles.pl the .pl indicates that it is a Perl file and we can see the file here, mkfiles.pl. So we run that file. Now because it, that file isn't executable, but because that file won't be in my path, I just need to put dot dash before the file name. And that will run the file. And I'll run the file. And now I also, there's also another um, file to run, which is mkauto.sh that's a that's a shell script again that won't be in my path so i'll just make sure that i type dot dash preceding the mk auto so i'll just let that run through that has now um run if you get an error message at this stage saying that auto recon f is not found you'll need to install the auto conf package um, so in Ubuntu you would type sudo space apt space install space autoconf. But I already have that package on my system. So I just now need to type configure with a preceding dot dash. Now to compile this source code you either need to have installed the GTK2 or GTK3 development libraries. Now I installed this on a fresh installation of Ubuntu 17.10 and that distribution does not automatically install development packages and it certainly doesn't install the GTK3 libraries that are wanted. Now I installed them quite simply by using the Synaptic Package Manager and you can find the, the, the files uh, libgtk and this is the this is the development package that I had already installed prior to running this tutorial libgtk-3 dev and they're the development fi files for the gtk plus library so I already had them installed so all I now need to do is type make and that is compiling the source code, which is written in C, and compiling that to, to binary files. It takes a little while, even on a reasonably powerful machine. We just wait while this downloads, or not downloads it, while this compiles. And it's proceeding merrily on its way. I don't think it's got too much longer. I think it's built most of the 39 puzzles now. Yep, now it's complete. 
And if we look in the directory by typing the ls command, we can see that there are lots of green files now, and they indicate that they're binary files. And one of the games in the collection is called Guess. Now remember again, this directory is not in my path. So if I want to run any of the games, I just need to proceed them with dot dash. And Guess comes out of a game, and this is a game of Mastermind, which you may have heard of, a game produced by Hasbro many years ago. It's got various options, but that's how to build the game. Quite simple. I hope that's been helpful to you. Now, if you have any comments, do leave them in the comment section on ossblog.org or on our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. If you think this tutorial has been helpful, please give it a like. And please subscribe to our channel because we're going to put a lot more information on the YouTube channel for your pleasure. Thank you for listening. You've been epic. Bye for now.